to be the right way. Before we continue, let's stop a moment and take a look at some of the key features of this demo. Much of what you see was built with Quixel Megascan assets, but instead of using the game versions, we used the cinematic versions which would typically only be used in film. There are around a million triangles each, and thanks to virtual texturing, they all use 8K textures as well. Nanite can render an insane number of triangles very quickly. There are over a billion triangles of source geometry in each frame that Nanite crunches down losslessly to around 20 million drawn triangles. What does that many triangles look like? This isn't noise. These are the triangles, each a different color. Most are so small that they look like noise. Nanite achieves detail down to the pixel, which means triangles are often the size of pixels. This amount of geometric detail requires shadows to be pixel accurate as well, and Nanite can do that too. Speaking of lighting, all of the lighting in this demo is completely dynamic, with the power of Lumen that even includes multi-bounce global illumination. No light maps, no baking here. Without GI, all of that beautiful lighting is gone. With Lumen enabled, we can move the light and the bounce changes instantly. Okay, let's keep going. We've made some great additions to our audio system as well. Convolution Reverb allows us to measure reverberation characteristics of real spaces, like actual caves that we sampled, and reproduce them in virtual spaces. Sound field rendering allows us to record and playback spatialized audio. All of this adds up to a more immersive experience. This swarm of bats was created with our Niagara effects system. Particles in Niagara can now talk to one another and understand their environment like never before. We've also added a ton of new functionality to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below. The demo runs on our Chaos Physics system. Here we are using it to accurately simulate the rigid bodies of the falling rocks and the cloth of her scarf. Now that the environment is so complex, we've needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact with the environment, we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the door. Sounds promising. Dynamic GI is amazing, not just for speeding up iteration, but also for its impact on gameplay. Nice Any light touch. source can move while still having be. beautiful bounce lighting. Dynamic illumination means specular as well, which you can see on all the metal surfaces. You can even see the Niagara-powered bugs reacting to the light. Lumen not only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. Remember we mentioned high poly assets? This statue was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. No baking of normal maps, no authored LODs. And we can do more than a single statue. There are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room 
for a total of over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. Over this entire demo, there are hundreds of billions of triangles. So with Mana, you have limitless geometry, and with Lumen, you have fully dynamic lighting and global illumination, all running on a PlayStation 5. doesn't need to be constrained to small rooms. It can stretch all the way to the horizon. The portal, it's open. Don't fail me now. What's next? I'm Thomas Anderson. Like many of you, I work with computers. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors, reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make, the worlds we build. They also confront us with questions about why we want to choose this over that, why we want to make X instead of Y, where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here. That it was important for me to ask people. How do we know what is real? Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 years ago, I first played the character Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. 
20 years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean when a world we can build feels as real as our own? Theoretical mumbo jumbo, but they needed some sexy action. Who said? The marketing people. Marketing? I thought we were supposed to have total creative control. <laughs> Welcome to the Matrix. <laughs> Preparing me to fight the system? Right on. You know about this? Yeah. It's all supposed to be a little unreal. Word of advice agents are bad, but whatever you do, stay the hell away from marketing. See you soon.
I am a metahuman, the next generation of digital human powered by Unreal Engine. Metahumans are high fidelity digital characters created by you, the user, on our new content creation platform, Metahuman Creator. I am fully rigged, ready for animation and motion capture, allowing you to work in context. With everything running live in Unreal Engine, my motion works seamlessly. On other characters, I have eight levels of detail and have been tested on a wide range of hardware platforms, from feature film to mobile. If you're interested in learning about my animation rig or high fidelity deformations, built on control rig, the new strand based hair system via the groom component, or how everything is tied together and animated in sequencer, then have a look under the hood in this project. This is just a glimpse of things to come.